Hello and welcome to LIG Special and I am Shamaki. Today we are going to be looking at one more factors in the list of factors we have been looking at in our geology analysis. So we've looked at uh, precipitation, we've looked at soil, we've looked at uh, um, SPI, uh, stream power index, we've looked at uh, topographic wetness index. So today we are still going to look at one more. And we'll be looking at uh, STI. STI, Sentiment Transport Index. So that's what we'll be looking at. So how do we um, generate our stream uh, Sentiment Transport Index? So ride on with me as we get this done. So we already have from previous videos we already have our flow accumulation, we already have our slopes, we already have everything we need. So it's just to apply formula for this, because this is not using the longer um, the longer formula for or the longer process for generating this, but we just use the formula. So what you need is a raster calculator. So you bring out your raster calculator. So I'm just going to search for raster calculator and here we have our raster calculator out so you double click on it So once it's out, the formula for this is you click on power, you come down to this uh, tools, conditional tools here. Uh, all right, so uh, power is under trig. Okay, power is under trigonometry. Yes. Power is under math. Okay, it's under mathematics, so math. So you double click on power. And then your flow accumulation, your flow accumulation divide by 22. This comma here will be 0 0.6, all right? Multiply by power again. Then sign into you put sign sign slope. Here's our slope. So divide by zero point zero eight nine six. Then we have a comma, the comma will be comma one point three. So once you have this power into your flow accumulation i just put my as aq so your flow accumulation will divide by 22 comma 0 0.6 multiply by power sine slope divide by 0 0.0896 comma 1.3 so this formula will generate uh your sti so we have a folder here that we call factor so these are the factors we've created so far so we're going to name this sti so I'm going to save and I'm going to press click on OK. So wait for our STI to be generated.
Oh, our STI is done. So we have our STI here. So um, you can right click, go to properties. And go to symbology. Go to classify. So you can classify it maximum. We normally have it in five classes. But when we come back to the classification, we're going to explain more of this. But now we're just going to go five class, and uh, we give it a color ramp. Now here you can click on this right left click. It's not right. click, just left click on this and click on format labels. Then you reduce this to like three decimal place, and then you click on OK. So you see that it will help you arrange this properly. So we click on that, and so that color isn't that good. So let's go and change it, or we can resort it. So let this reverse sorting and see how it's going to be. Uh, it's still not well, so let's change another color. So let's use this and see. Okay, this is this is a bit okay. So basically, this is how you can perform your sentiment transport index. So if you enjoy this video, just support us by subscribing, liking, share, and comment. Don't go anywhere. I will see you in the next video where we'll bring you another factor regarding this subject matter. For now, bye-bye. Some of these things are going on.